The game-changing S-400 air defense system renders entire swaths of territory nearly invulnerable to attack via conventional strike aircraft. Even stealth aircrafts like Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor, F-35 and Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit Bomber will find it difficult to operate in areas defended by S-400. In this circumstance, some experts believe that a possible way to defeat S-400 system, will be through preemptive saturation attack with standoff weapons like cruise missiles or guided bombs. But S-400 has five specific ways to deal with his sort of attack. Let's analyze one by one. A separate independent air defense system 42S6 Morphe or Morpheus, is being developed by Russia's Almazandi Corporation. This system is designated a short-range air defense system, and will protect the S-400 from various threats at their terminal phases. It will act together with the mid-range S-350 EVD as air defense system. This means the long-range S-400 will be protected by medium-range S-350 EVDS and short-range 42S-6 Morphe. Derived from Tor M2, Morphe has a range of 5 km or 3 miles. Development has been ongoing since 2007 and it is supposed to be introduced by end of 2016. It is reported to feature an omnidirectional cupola-type radar with active electronically scanned array. It is designed to shoot down precision-guided weapons like the AGM-86 ALCM, and Tomahawk cruise missile. It can operate day and night, in bad weather and jamming situation. It can detect targets while on the move. The S-400 is designed to be mobile. All system components are carried by self-propelled wheeled, all-terrain chassis. The complex can move on roads at 60 km per hour, and off-road at speeds up to 25 km per hour. So S-400 can virtually be tucked away anywhere in vast Russian landscape. Also, this means that the system can pop up at different locations at different points in times, making it very unpredictable and difficult to target. S-400 has an open system architecture with a high level of modularity intended to permit follow-on capability growth in the design. The radar can be used independently of the missiles. So, just because the radar is there doesn't mean the entire system is there. Each component has autonomous power supply, navigation and geolocation systems, communications and life support equipment. Just one S-400 system can control up to 72 launchers, with a maximum of 384 missiles. It can simultaneously engage up to 80 targets. This means that system has enough ammunition and targeting strength to take down a saturation attack. The S-400 can detect and engage anything that's in air. Also an important aspect is that, for aerodynamic and ballistic targets, the minimum engagement range is only 2 and 5 kilometers respectively. This means that the targets can be engaged till the last seconds, and multiple shots can be taken. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button, if you find the video interesting. Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section, it will help us improve. S-500 Primity is currently being developed by Russia's Almazandi company, and is expected to be deployed.